Hello. Hello. Yeah. It is working. It is. It is. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. It is Facebook Song Vacation. We haven't done this for a while. When's the last <laughs> one we did one? A uh, good few weeks ago. Bilbury. Oh, Bidbury, yes, that's oh, correct. Yeah. Bidbury, not Bilbury. Bilbury, or however Bilbury. you pronounce it. Bidbury. Yes. Bilbury's Bilbury Doctors in London. <laughs> it's close. Yes. Anyway, welcome to The Vagrants on Vacation. I'm Katie. I'm Tom. And today we are going to be talking about... Uh, where we went yesterday, <laughs> I think. <laughs> where did we go yesterday, Tom? <laughs> we went to the British Ironworks Sculpture Park. We did. In Sh- Shropshire. Shropshire. It's near, in between Shrewsbury and Oswestry, near the Welsh border. Yeah, we just we went, oh, not been there before. I've driven past it a few times and there's a big transformer outside. And um, As in... As in a Transformer Form. Robots in, in disguise. disguise. And every time I drive past it, it goes, Transformers Robots, robots in, in disguise. disguise. I think for the younger viewers... I'm Optimus Prime. <laughs> yeah, for the under, uh, younger viewers, I think Bumblebee, one of the Bumblebees, I don't know. Yeah, I know, because those kids were going crazy when we were paying to get in. And yeah, like, Bumblebee. Oh, Bumblebee, Bumblebee. I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Transformers. Yeah, yeah. Not having children of that age, I have no idea. And our son was never into Transformers, was he? Nope. No, not was. really. No. We missed that out. It's more of an 80s thing, wasn't it? Yeah, 80s, early 90s, yeah. Anyway, we're going off track, <laughs> as always. So, we went there. It was in the winter. It's actually free to go in. Is it? Yes, between October and March, it's oh, free. Oh, that's good. And it's, according to the literature, it's 90 acres of metal sculptures. It is also home to the Knife Angel. Yes. When it's not doing the tours of the city. It wasn't there yesterday because obviously it's somewhere else. Yeah. I saw it actually in Worcester. Me and my son, Callum, we went for the day and actually we didn't know it was there and and it was in the main, near the five guys opposite the cathedral. And it was there. And it's, it's quite a powerful, poignant statue, tribute, monument. For knife crime, yeah. 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 It's where everybody handed in their knives, wasn't it? Yeah, and it was an they, amnesty, yes. Yeah, and they, and, and they, um, they built this sculpture, which I'm sure people seen on the And it was commissioned by a mother of a, somebody who, who had been stabbed to death. That Her yes. son had been yeah. stabbed to death. So we went there. It's mainly, um, it's, it's full of all sorts of random stuff, really. There's a lot of animals. Yeah, there's like a ex- extinction safari, I'd, uh, I'd like yeah, to what say. They, it's what they call it. It's what they the, call it. Yeah, it? yeah, it's like extinction. And it's got quite a lot of information about different species of animals around different parts of the world. And each sculpture has a massive information board about the animal itself. Yeah, where and, it's from. And the plight of the animal. It, they're Not all were obviously extinct because there was quite a lot of... Some of the really... Yeah, there's like one or two hundred certain types of gorillas yeah. left and things like that. But there's some that are close. But that's quite a good uh, educational yeah. walk, really, because yeah. you can teach your children about certain animals. And it, it's free for children as well. You only yeah, pay for animals, good. so it's £8.50. And everything's just made out of scrap... You can actually donate scrap metal and things to them as well. They have a, a donation area where you could take, if you were taking down your garden uh, yes. gates or anything like that, you could take them there. So they had a donation place, but everything is made up out of recycled items. Some of the sculptures are really realistic, actually. Some are really good, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. The gorillas and things like that. I mean, yes. to create hair and fur. and. I find, yeah, I find, yeah, they, they were really good. What was your favourite one? My favourite one? Well, on the way in, as you're driving up to get to the car park, and side note, I am just going to go off. If you do want to go and it's a lovely day, get there early because we got parked right at the, in the first car park and it was great. Because <laughs> you basically you get right into the first car park, which is near where you pay, and then you can actually just pull out and go to the exit and it's nice and simple. But definitely get there early. But my favourite... Going back to that, was when we were coming in and there's a three-headed dragon. dragon. Yes. <laughs> and then he said gazelle. Yeah. Um, a three-headed dragon. And then there was another dragon as well. There was uh, there was a dragon. On in fact, of... there was a couple of dra- dragons, actually. Yeah. There was one Daenerys's dragon, I think, on top of a car as well. Um, and then I went to the toilet. <laughs> and I absolutely capped my pants. Not because I had diarrhoea or anything, but there was a... An ostrich in one of the cubicles sticking its head out. <laughs> and I wasn't expecting it. 
Yeah. How about you? What was your favourite? Well, I uh, the dragon was really good. I like the, the Legend Devil. Yes. Yeah. For those who don't know that, that was a nineteen eighties film. Tom Cruise in it, and it's and um, that's really it's massive. But that was really cool. The, the centipede that was attacking the minivan. Yes. That had over two hundred. Two thousand. Was it over two thousand? Sorry, golf used golf clubs. Yes, yeah, so the a legs. Millipede. It was so good. Yeah, obviously not a centipede. It was a millipede. Yeah, it was really good, wasn't it? it was mm. Like attacking this white van. It was really good. There's a couple of there's like, like there's Darth Vader. There's obviously the the kids all loving the superheroes. There's all of, I think yeah, spy from Spider Man. Deadpool to obviously Bumblebee and that from Transformers and there's a few others I don't know them I'm, you know I keep it simple Batman that's about me when it comes to superheroes and lots of animals a lot of it's to do with obviously the guy cares about the, the environment and things like that. there's a lot of things to do with the environment there and all sorts of random stuff yeah I don't know what the word you're looking for is no. conscious yeah like putting out it's not a philanthropist, but that sort of thing. Big word for a Sunday morning. Yeah, anyway, so it's yeah. a great place to take kids because they can just run them up. They can, you can wear them out. Well, yeah, because it's in a field, basically. Yeah, it <laughs> just is. Let them run around. And to say that, that it was really—I mean, it was really busy. And the only reason we knew this was because most people were actually in the cafes, and that was heaving, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, we took a packed lunch. We had cheese and pickle sandwich, basic. <laughs> Some but fruit? nice. Uh, we had some melon. Melon, yeah, some fruit. Blueberries and cake, croissants, yeah. that sort of thing. Uh, so we just sat. There's plenty of chairs as well to sit around. If you're in a wheelchair or if you're a, a scooter user, it's all it's, well made. Yeah, there's like roads like and tracks, tracks that you could yeah, probably... So a path. Yeah. So you could definitely it's accessible for disabled people and people who use scooters. But to say that it was really busy, because it's such a big place... We didn't, walking around the sculptures and stuff, we didn't really see many... No, there's plenty of space. You're not people. on top of each yeah, other. Yeah, and there are lots of places to sit down, as yeah. I say. The shop is phenomenal oh, and yeah. very reasonably priced. There was a dragon in there and it was reduced from £22,000 to £15,000. And, oh, if I had a spare fifteen grand, it would have been coming home with me. <laughs> <laughs> to put in the garden oh that would be good as <laughs> oh yeah this yeah there is um there's even local um, artisans they have studios there there's... yeah there was a, a lady who had made hand leather handbags out of scraps from other leather projects and things like that mm. i don't know whether she was local or whether she she lives in barcelona or something i don't know there was something about barcelona on the yeah. on the label but, but unless yeah, she gets the leather from barcelona yeah, because there was a guy who did wood turning. There was another woman, I don't know. There's a few of them were shut, probably because yeah. it's the weekend. I think there was the, the actual um, iron works itself was shut, which you could see if it was during the week. But for the guys, yeah. Banging, and then there's a second hand, uh, seconds kind of place where you can go and have a look at things that are either broken or whatever. So if you want to create your own artwork, you could do. You do could. that, couldn't you, in your garden or wherever? But yeah, it was it was a great day out actually. I yeah. would definitely recommend. If Easy you're... to get to. Just off the A5 between Os Oswald Street and Shrewsbury, like I said before. Yeah, and also uh, you go once and they give you a free entry to go again, which you have to use um, within three months. Oh, was it three months? It's oh, three right. months. Yeah, oh, they we... put a date on it when you have to you go back. Right? Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, because <laughs> I was I wa I wanted to go back for during the Christmas because I think uh, they might do like a Christmas thing with lights and stuff, but we might do that. We don't know yet. Mm -hmm. So we did that. And that took uh, that was a good th three hours. I'd say we were there for yeah half nine to about half twelve. Yeah, and then on the way back we um, popped in a Stokesy Stokesy Stoke 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 Castle, which is English heritage. English heritage. It's a fortified manor house, isn't it? I yes. believe is the official term for it. And because we're members, we just popped in, popped, popped in. out. And, and this is what we said in the podcast, in a couple of podcasts ago, um, about being members of the National Trust or the English Heritage. Even if you need a wee or something like that, you're <laughs> driving past, you're like, oh, there's nowhere that you could stop in these places. Use your membership. Go and use the ablutions. Yeah. And then have a cup of tea, maybe. And then that's it. You can, And that is the beauty of being a member. You can just pop in and out whenever you like. And free parking. Yeah, free parking Generally is speaking. always good. Yeah. Um, so that's what we really yeah. did. So it was, it was weekend. First nice Saturday of the summer, really. Yes, it was. Of the year, so it was really nice. Well, it wasn't too bad last week, but you were up in Scotland yeah, and I went to um, in Scotland. 
I went to Croft Castle for the day. Well, I'll probably show some pictures on that. Okay. Yeah. She does. All, Katie does all that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, for the YouTube video, I'll put some pictures in the end. But for those on Spotify, obviously you won't see the pictures unless you go over to, to YouTube. Yeah, exactly. We have a YouTube channel, so if you want to pop over there, or Instagram. We actually do have an Instagram as well, so we'll pop some pictures up there if you want to have a look and see. But we would definitely recommend a great family fun day out. Absolutely amazing for all ages as well. From, you know, your granddads who used to love to tinker with the cars in the garage. They can look at all of the sculptures and recognise many of the pieces <laughs> in there, yeah. I should think. And the fascination, the engineering of how it all gets put together and things like that. It's just a great, great educational experience. Yes, indeed. Yeah, it was worth it. And they do concessions as well. Yeah. So veterans, yes, blue veterans, light, yeah. OAPs, Students, teachers. carers. So they are quite... And if you're on their Facebook page as well, if you're one of the top contributors as well on their Facebook page, you get a discount. There you go. So, so if you go over to there, just go over there and like loads of stuff and you'll get... <laughs> yeah, you basically... You basically get some money off. So, um, but yeah, so fabulous day out. Great weather, great company. Yeah, top dog. I top thought dog. I really enjoyed it. Thank yeah. you very much. Yes. That's all right. Okay then, so we will see you on the next one. It's a ta from myself and it's a tara for me see you later bye bye let's hope that worked because <laughs> i didn't even listen to see if it worked after we went hello <laughs> oh well <laughs>